Yo, Let's Talk About It podcast, the best podcast in the world. I'm your host, Kesey Ruffin, extra cheese, extra stuffing. <laughs> I got my guy in here, one of the best lyricists in the city. You feel me? And your favorite barber, favorite barber. <laughs> T-Swan in the building. What's yeah, good, my guy? What's going on, my guy? Appreciate you having me, man. How you feeling, man? I'm good. We good, man. Nah, for real. Fucking, um, I want you to, um, one of my favorite songs from you, I want you to take me through it. The bars... All that shit. I thought this shit was dope when I heard this shit. I'm like, damn, why the fuck? What the when, like? When did he drop? <laughs> ADHD. Ah, shit. that's my shit. Okay, I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Yeah. I, I I listen to that shit smoking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Driving around, doing what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? That shit is really like that shit. The lyricism, the bars, and that shit. Take me to through that shit. All right. So yeah, that um <clears throat> that joint is on probably my favorite, my personal favorite project that I made, which is Humble Rap, you know what I'm saying? Humble Rap. Um, and that, it's, it, that track kind of came together like spur of the moment, honestly. I was um, chilling with my boy, Jordo, who like produced most of that tape, and that's who like produced like, probably like 85% of all the music I ever put out to keep it a buck, my okay. boy Jordo, like where? Where'd you meet him at? Uh, high school, we met in high school, um, damn, I think, I think it was probably like, like 11th grade 11th grade yeah i was in 11th grade he was like in ninth grade like, so ninth like 15 grade. 14 yeah we're the we're the mother yeah so we started cooking up in high school and but, all right all right when you met him he yeah. was already recording and he was at 15 14 years he old. was he was just making beats but making I, beats yeah he was 15. making yeah he was yeah yeah yeah. he was that young making beats and i was i was rapping he had heard like you know what i'm saying some of the raps i was putting out like on facebook and then he hit me up like yo and it's funny because when he first hit me up, I thought he was another rapper. He was like, yo, check out my link or whatever. This is when everybody was using Reverb Nation and all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I checked out the link and I'm like, oh, this nigga actually make beats. I'm like, all right, let me let me tap in with him. And then we've been tapped in ever since. But yeah, so around that time when I was making that project, I was recording like all those joints at Jordo's crib. And he was like recording me and mixing me. And, um, and what age is this? What year is this? This was, I was, um... This was about... Y'all still up, high school? Nah, nah. This time, when, when we made ADHD, I was... um That was 2019 when I put out Humble Rap. So I was about... I was like 24 going on 25. But some of those songs on there was probably like a year, a year, some change old by the time we put it out. So some of those songs was like 2017, 2018, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, we was just chilling in his basement and he was showing me some beats and he put that beat on he was like yo spit 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 some bars on this and i like i remember coming up with the verse kind of quick because i had already had like some bars in my phone all right okay I, all right slow yeah. down slow down slow down slow down you're going, <laughs> you're going too fast so 14 15 years old you in school you meet somebody who make beats yeah. okay cool you prior to you meeting him on yeah. on you already had a love for music. You already yeah. wrote, wrote. You already even wrote music. Yeah, before. I'm already writing music at this point. What right? made what the first time you put a pen to the paper? What what like? Cause that shit is like I ain't gonna lie. It's like cocky shit on low. Yeah. Like be like okay, I'm about to write some shit. Yeah. I'm about to write my bars real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Actually, the first time I tried to do that was actually middle school. Mm -hmm. Give it a buck, like, mm -hmm. and that was like um, I remember I had wrote like a rap. Actually, it might have been a little bit younger than that, cause um. So <laughs> this is this is actually a real funny story. So like back in the day, my pops, right? Mm -hmm. Um he had a little computer in the basement and whatnot. And um so like he had this little little mic that came with the uh, computer and he used to like record stuff on there or whatever. But anyway, he found some website That's where the first he, time seeing that with your pops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like so so he had he had some website where he was getting like these like current instrumentals, but you know, this is like early two thousands, you know what I'm saying? So he was getting like instrumentals from then, but he was spitting like old school raps that us kids were and you know, for like Big Daddy Kane, mm -hmm. Rock Kim mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And like spitting them on like yeah. those those newer beats and like making us think that it was him coming up with the bars and all that. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then there was this one track where he like he literally just spit a big daddy cane verse over mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I forgot. I think it was like the peaches and cream beat or something like that. I swear to God. It was the Probably back then if you spit and cane <laughs> word for word, you had to be that he nigga. Spit, he spit the big daddy cane ain't right. no half stepping verse over the peaches and cream verse. That's dope. That's <laughs> by dope. by one twelve. But we thought it was a verse by Pasa that came up with but anyway there was one time he was like oh y'all wanna y'all wanna hop 
up on the remix, crazy. and then like I had wrote like a verse that I thought was hot, and I was like, "This with my sisters in it and all that." And then like from then, like I was just like, "You know what? Writing raps is like fun." Okay. What bro. age was that? That was, man, I probably was like ten when I when I did that verse, "This with my sisters." But then, ten like, years I, like old. I said, I doubled back. Like in middle school, it was like um, I started like writing raps again because like. I think I remember one time in class, like I was trying to be funny and like, you know what I'm saying? I was just writing about like some funny stuff that happened in class and, you know what I'm saying? Making jokes about other people and mm -hmm. everybody was like, yo, yo, spit that rap you wrote, spit that rap you wrote. It was mad funny, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, yeah. Okay, so, 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 so you wit, so you started rapping, you started with your family, you started just playing around with it, you trying to take it serious. You yeah. Enjoy, you enjoy it all, you're on the studio, y'all cooking up, y'all young, mm -hmm. right? Y'all cooking up. ADHD, right? Did you know, because me hearing ADHD, like I heard, you got nine albums out. <laughs> Word. Nine albums, a bunch of singles. Word up. Right? So, me listening, I'm listening to your shit um, before you get here. I'm listening to Humble Rap and I hear ADHD and I'm like, damn. ADHD was a song you made when you was 15, 16 years old. Nah, nah, that song, I was probably like, like I said, I made that I made that song probably like twenty eighteen or so. Okay, By this okay, point, okay. I'm probably like okay. twenty three, twenty four. Okay, okay. But like when me and Jordo first linked up in high school, I was like fifteen, sixteen. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And okay. then, but we don't get it too. We was making tapes back then though too. But Humble Rap came like the, the tape that that's that album's on came that's like twenty nineteen. That's my Word. favorite from me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Word, Jordo. Yeah. Where's he now? He's still around. He's still around. He just be like working and stuff. So you know what I'm saying? He not he not making as many beats mm -hmm. as he used to. But you know, mm -hmm. I'm hoping he get back into the rhythm. Of, nah, you know yeah, I mean? because they say they say the the, the producer. If you make ten songs with somebody, that's your sound. Yeah, nah. I you feel like me and him definitely created like a, a, a and sonic and, sound. And, and okay? the city needs you. First Get of all, up. first of all, the city needs a kick. First of all, let's talk about that. The city needs a kick. What do you what do you what do you think about really? Because people throwing out the melodic shit and they you know and they you know. I want to see, I want we were from the East Coast first of all. We got to get back to rap. Yeah, hey, word up, word you know up. What I'm saying I'm not gonna lie, like the melodic shit is cool. You know what I'm saying we do it for the hooks, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But bro, on the bars, like, come on, bro. We're not from Detroit. We're not from Chicago. Right, right, you know what right, saying? right. We're from the East Coast. Yeah. What do you think about that? Like bringing bars back because I think personally, yeah. you, Fabian, fans. Y'all will be front runners to bring that 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 situation back and make niggas make niggas want to do that back again. Like, hold on, I'm I'm doing that. Word up, word up. Like hearing me hearing Meek and and and, and um and um that Shaq and Kobe. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all yeah, three yeah. niggas, like I really believe that. So what you think about like like, like hip hop in the city right now? So um so I mean you know first off I'm gonna just say like you know I'm a fan of all different types of music. You know what I'm saying? I listen to melodic shit, listen to lyrical shit, you know what I'm saying, all of that, um, you know what I'm saying, I even got some songs myself that are melodic and all of that, but mm -hmm. I do, I do definitely think I don't like when people mm -hmm. discredit, you know what I'm saying, that, you know what I'm saying, the, the lyrical side of rap, you know what I'm saying, the rappers that are more focused on bars, because that's definitely a art and, and, and a whole nother skill and talent, you know what I'm saying, that you know, like, oh, okay, this guy may not be doing a catchy hook, but do you hear, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? You hear what you're saying? Like, mm -hmm. and, you know, I get that there's this for everybody. There's, you know, it might not be that person's thing, but I don't think, I definitely don't think it should ever be just That's humble even that's, coming, that's humble saying coming <clears throat> from you because. Word up. <clears throat> you could do the hooks in. Word up, word up. You could really rap. Word, 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 word. Yeah, and that's how, you know, I, I like, never I, heard you be cocky, bro, ever, bro. <laughs> so, like I said, I watch your shit, bro. I watch your performances. I watch, you know, I'm online. I see the statuses. My nigga, you really do this shit. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, I really, really think too many motherfuckers can really fuck with you. Period, when it come on to rapping. You know that's what I'm saying? Wild, not even as far as, like, the city go, like, this is Massachusetts, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not fucking niggas in Boston, too. That's really doing their thing. They try to put it together on the gangster tip, you know what I'm saying? They want to say the most gangster shit that we put their word together. And that's maybe their life. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my nigga, you got to be able to rap. 
Word you up. know what I'm saying? If you can't rap, you can't, like, to me, what are you doing it for? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you're trying to say the hardest street shit. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But what else? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you is consistent. You non-stop with it. Like, when they say what else, you got what else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word up, word up. Like, no bullshit, bro. Tell me about, um, talk to me about Field of Dreams. All right, all right. So, um, what's the first year we did, me and Fame did Field of Dreams, I think. I think that was 2019, too, actually. How did the idea come about? Um, so me and Fabe, like, we, we've been boys for a minute, and we just thought it would be dope for me and him to have a show that was me and him, you know what I'm saying? Because we felt like, you know, we was, same, same yeah, you know, we come from the same cloth. And I was in there talking we, about niggas like, bro, these niggas, we, these niggas we, can't rap, man. Yeah. We got to be made, we got to be shot, man. <laughs> nah, real. we're like, yeah, you know, it just it just felt organic. And like, you know, we know that we just thought it would be dope for the city because we know, um, you know, not, 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 not to be cocky, but, you know, we know how... You know how the city feel about us. Right, right. So, like, you know, we thought it would be dope for, for us to come together and do that. And then, um, so, like, yeah, I said we did the first one in 2019. Then we did the second one this year. But we definitely going to try to make it more recurring, you know what I'm saying, and not have, like, you know. But, you know, COVID and all that came, so nobody was having shows in 2020, 2021 like that anyway. But we're going to try to make it, we're going to hopefully try to do it, like, every year, keep it a buck. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. word. Nah. Keep doing that shit because it's motivation. Yeah. And that's the type of, like, I like Darius, right? Word, word. Yeah, shout out to Darius. Shout out to Darius because I tell that boy all the time, like, he do that shit with a smile on his face and he's always working. It don't look nah, like stress. It don't look like a problem. <clears throat> nah, that's me? a fact. <clears throat> so, and he be involved in everything. No he bullshit. He motivation in people. But it's like, okay, if I rap, what can I look forward to? Like, yo, bro, trust me, niggas just be watching. Like, you, they see you moving around, they see you doing your interviews, they see you throwing out music, That's they like, hold on, what the fuck is you gearing up for? They writing shit down, they trying to get their shit together. That's a you fact. Know, niggas be giving it up. It's a thing in the city where niggas be giving it up. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'll be falling victim to that shit too, but at the same time, you still consistent and still throw out music. I seen this shit two months ago, four months ago. It's just systematic. You know what I'm saying? So... That's another thing too I want to get back to. You do this shit without if somebody supports you or not. Right? Or mother. <laughs> you do this shit and I see the love you that that you like you really hip hop to me. You know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> looking at your shit, seeing seeing all your shit, the way you talk about your shit, loving for the shit, you know what I'm saying? I seen a couple of interviews or whatever, like your you, you man Jordan, the way you talk about your man Jordan. Um you really hip hop, bro. You really doing this shit because it's in me. Ain't nobody. I'm not right, trying to right. press nobody. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, on nobody. And I've been, and you could tell you could have been around all of the everything that's going on around here. You, if you're from Springfield, you've been around the street shit. You've been around all everything. You know what I'm saying? You choose to be who you are, and that's why I got this podcast, bro. Because the city need to know you could do what you want to do. Be you. You don't have to be following niggas running around. You know what I'm saying? If you nice and selling drugs, sell drugs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, but 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 if somebody's showing you a different way of of, of of something in the streets, do it and go back to the street. If that's what oh, you do, if motherfuckers really be stuck in the hood, yeah, go to yeah. the hood. You know, go to the hood, come out, learn something. You know what I'm saying? And who you gonna learn something from? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, I ain't gonna lie. Motherfuckers like you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Motherf like I don't I, like I, I like I did a lot of that damage and shit, bro. I be online, my nigga. And even when I was doing my little music shit and my bars and rapping and shit like that, throwing my hood in and this and this and that, like that shit was all corny, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm living in the town. I'm I'm in the means of the town. You know what I'm saying? And there's a big little baby and niggas got fucking mansions and they drive, they doing what they gotta yeah, do. Yeah, nigga, you feel me at a high level? Why the fuck I'm running around talking just worry about my neighborhood and ooh, ooh shit corny, nigga. You feel me? Especially if I got dreams. If you got dreams, you gotta live. Let other niggas rep the hood and, <clears throat> and woo -de -woo, you feel me? Right up. So. You do, like I said, back to you doing shit without no support system. Not that no support system, but you do it like you don't you don't care if nobody supports you or not. Do you have a support system? Like, what's going on? I mean, <clears throat> I don't got, like, I don't got no manager, no mm -hmm. team behind me or nothing like that. You know, I got, I do got family and friends, you know what I'm saying? I got, like, a, you know, collective of, you know, my, shout out, you know, my boys from the Renaissance, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. we a collective of you know, artists and producers and, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, 
mad mad talent within the gang, you know what I'm saying? But you know, they're all artists as well, so like, you know, I can't rely on them to like, mm -hmm. you know, push me like that when you know they gotta do their own thing too. So like mm -hmm. so like yeah, um I will say that, you know, I try to keep myself motivated without having like a team or a manager behind me, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the content that I put out this year, like I shot myself and, you know what I'm saying, edited myself and you know, putting the captions on myself and all of that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. Word up. Being tech smart. How smart how how, how important is, is being tech smart, bro? It is, it Doing is. This shit. Especially today, it, man. It, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me no, no, I was just gonna say, yeah, especially today, you know what I'm saying, with social media and all that and all the new ways, all the new trends that, you know. Mm. Is. Reality is, ain't nobody gonna support you more than you. That's a fact. That's when a they fact. see when your friends see you, when they or your family or your girlfriend or whoever, they see you and they like, okay, okay, all right, Lon, let me support you serious about this shit. Yeah, it is. That's what I be telling people, too. That's the other thing. Like, ain't nobody going to want to support you till they see you supporting yourself first. You know what I'm saying? That's what they say about Chief Keith. Yeah. He was on that shit. He yeah. was doing cover arts to his CDs. He Word. He recorded himself. He was putting this shit out. Yeah. Like, Ooh. You when they see you serious, then they're going to tap in. They're going to tap in. <coughs> okay. okay. They're like, okay, he not stopping. Like, you know what I mean? Did you ever wanted to, not ever wanted to, or like right now, like any upcoming artists, like you would like, Spend money to reach out to the, you know, what I'm saying to, to to get to the next level. Or what's what's your i what's your what's your blueprint on like I uh, you taking off out of here, like out of the city, like what, like what are you working on, like what like you know what I'm saying? Oh, That's man, honestly, I wouldn't say I have a blueprint. If anything, <clears throat> I say I'm going with the flow. Um, you know, um, I, and that's why I also say, like, you know, I'm trying to just stay consistent with the content and all of that. Because, like, even if, you know, this one thing going to pop, you know, all those little baby steps matter. You know what I'm saying? Um, but all I can say is that, you know, I'm going to just keep trying to maximize on the mm -hmm. stuff that I do have. You know what I'm saying? I got a bunch of great music that I feel like can be capitalized on even more even as far as like you know monetization getting, yeah you know what I'm saying and even like as far as like getting new visuals to songs I don't got visuals for and promoting those and running ads on those and just just creating more content out of you know what I mean a lot of the um you remind me of like like I said like La Russell like <clears throat> like ASAP Rocky like hearing y'all niggas when y'all niggas drop you know what I'm saying it's that it's like a it's like a really it's like a it's like a I don't know how to say it, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like no bullshit. It's the energy Word. young niggas is bringing. It's that. It's that. It's that toughness. But I'm saying some shit like, my, like we, like it's a mess. The message. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Word up. Like you know what I'm saying? And we bringing this shit. I'm going. I'm telling you this. Like you, you know what I'm saying. In, in a way, you might not understand it, but you'll get it. Run it back and. Word, 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 you word. feel me? Yeah. Like this ain't none of that shit you could just play and bop and listen to with your kids and shit. Like this is something you're gonna have to run it. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like. I respect niggas like you, you know what I'm saying? There's a couple other niggas, you know what I'm saying? Street niggas that's that's nice and shit like that from the city, but this ain't about people, this is about you. This interview is about T Swan, you feel me? <laughs> like when I seen nine albums, bro, I said, God damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. this nigga working, nigga, you feel me, nigga? Like to just be throwing nine bodies of work out there, countless singles, nigga, you feel me? Performances, you feel me? Like you gotta have this shit in your soul and that's want to do this shit for real, nigga, you feel me? So, like, that bring me to your family, like, since you guys are passion, like, that's why I say you following your passion. You, you follow passion, you're going to make it. It's like Wallow, with him, how he doing, like, he run up to the camera and boom, and trying to yeah. get his message across, that he was doing that shit out of passion. Like, yeah. put the phone, that, I feel like that's how you, you got that much passion for music. Awesome. Where did that shit come from? You, you, like, you just spoke about your dad and shit like that, but, like, the rest of your family, like, like, Cause the Swan household, first of all, Swan name <laughs> in in the, in the city. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, let's start there. Where up, where like, up, where up? It, 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 you know, it's like y'all like royalty in the city. So, like, what does it come? It come from the family. Like, nah, I mean, there wasn't even really anybody else in my family who did music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, most of my family members that people know about here was like involved in like I'm saying politics, school system, mm -hmm. and you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like bunch of, you know what I'm saying, community activism, like a bunch of all of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like, you know, I definitely I definitely have a uh, a huge legacy to follow up with, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, with the 
people in my family that came before me. But I mean, I can't say that it was anybody in my family that like inspired me to do music. But I can say that um, I have took things from certain family members and applied it to my music journey. You know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. even um, you know I'm saying like my pops is real outspoken and honest and stuff with you know what I'm saying the stuff he be saying and I feel like that kind of even inspired me to kind of be like as outspoken and honest as I am in my music you know what I'm saying because it's like when I put these words out there or something you know what I mean like I, I understand it's gonna attract certain energy or whatever you know what I mean and like you know mm-hmm. so I can't I can't really say that it was my family that inspired me to do music but I can't say mm-hmm. That people in my family have inspired, kind of how I just move in general. You know what I mean? So, so music is how you express yourself. Right, 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 right. Like music. I always say, like you know what I'm saying, because a lot of people know, like my pops is a preacher, and um, mm-hmm. like I always told him, like I ain't no preacher, but mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like I preach with these bars. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Like you no, know what I mean? no, no. I still get my message across in the way that I yes, do, yes, and yes. you do it. Yes. The way you do, you know what I'm saying? That's why it comes across, to, not right. comes across, but like that's why I could put you in a La Russell, Vince Staples. I could put you in the niggas who look Simba. I could put up. you with the niggas who really be rapping yeah. because there's no therapist involved. That is the therapy. Word up, yeah, yeah, yeah. You that know is saying? the therapy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me fact. being honest, me coming out being being aggressive instead of me being aggressive and catching a case and doing something and and, 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 and handling my, my, my anger a different type of way or handling my sadness or my happiness or whatever type of I'm gonna go on and mute and I'm gonna do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Word up, word up. I listen to some of your music, bro. It's like it's like it's like you give different vibes. Word, word, word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like yeah, not yeah. just one thing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. It's different vibes, like what, like, like that creativeness too. What, like, where does that come from? What, like, what, like, what, what make you want to just okay? I want to do something that'll make motherfuckers get up and dance right now. Then I want to, I want to give motivation. You know what I'm saying to a motherfucker that's, you know what I'm saying, coming up like, like a song like ADHD. Like, what would make you, what make you switch lanes like that? My word. Uh, I mean, you know, kind of depend on how I'm feeling, what type of mood I've been in lately. You know what I'm saying there, there be times where like. Like, for example, I got a song I dropped this year called Feeling Myself, you know what I'm saying? And it was, like, at a point in time where, like, I felt like I was making some boss moves in my life, so I kind of was really feeling myself, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's kind of, that's the energy I had at the moment, you know what I'm saying? But then there's other times where I might be, like, mentally struggling with something or going through, like, a little phase where, you know what I'm saying, it's a little tough or maybe maybe I'm going through a phase where I need to be motivated, so I write something for myself to keep myself motivated, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it just really just all be how I'm feeling at the moment. You all know? your shits and streaming services? Yeah, where, where, where? Apple Music, Spotify, <coughs> Tidal, all that, where? <coughs> okay, when you had your, um, all right, I seen um 2019 you had your son. Where, where, where? Yeah. yeah. They were saying all in your in your family, all your siblings have girls. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. You had your son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what? What changed you at that point in time? Like, would you would you would you support your son if you decided to just like, okay, I'm gonna just put all my money and all my attention and all my shit in the rap and hip hop, dad, and, and fuck it? Or would you have a different mindset for him? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, like, right. Nah, like like you know better, like or or you just like nah, like let me handle that, get into this crypto or get into these stocks or get into this, you know, get this job and get this trade or ooh, like like if he wanted to do rap career, like would you support him? If if he wanted to do a rap career, you said, yeah, yeah. and my son, yeah, 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 I would. I mean, if I, and definitely if I had the bread to, you know, what right, I'm saying? right, you know what I mean. Right. Um, but like, just because, like, you know, I know, like, for example, like my parents, like, they was always big on like wanting us to go to college and mm-hmm. all of that. You know what I'm saying? And like, I, you know, I tried community college for a couple semesters, mm-hmm. and it just wasn't it for me. You know what I'm saying? He, he that was college, when I was like, bro. man, I'm not going to go to college. Right. He got out of college. He's nice <laughs> as hell, though. He's nice as hell. Rapping, mean, singing, do hosting, that. everything. <laughs> like, he's nice. He got albums. Where he got like mother? seven joints. He ready. He like, yo, dad, I'm ready. I just graduated. I'm going to tell him, all right, we, we'll try it out for this amount of time. But if you don't get saved, you're going to have to get a job. <laughs> we're we're going to do it. We're going to try to do both. You know what I'm saying? Right. And like, it's possible to, like, you know what I mean? Because, like, like you said, like, I'm a, I'm a barber. I got my own shop. You know what I'm saying? I got three kids at home, mm-hmm. but I still try to make enough time to still 
do the music and all that at the same time. And it's, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not easy, but like. Kids, we kids change. Like, yeah. That's why I act, because I'm, I'm same shit with me, bro. Like, right my, my daughter, my son, bro. Yeah. Like, man, I've been. They keep I, you on your toes, I've bro. I've been shot, bro. <laughs> I've been shot twice. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I've been, I've been, I've been, you know what I'm saying? To the point, I've been, like, when you go to, when you go to the county, when you go to the county, you get, you can get good time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I wasn't in not getting no good time, fighting and not even caring. Like, I had two years to do. You can break two years down to eighteen months at least. You know what I'm saying? Like I did yeah. twenty two months out of two out of two years. Like being dumb. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I had my kids, bro, doing yeah. I did ninety days. Word up. That shit was like, oh Yeah, God. dog, yeah. <laughs> it's different. It's different, bro. It's different. Word up. Nah, that's it a was fact. crying. That's just different, crying. bro. Yeah, them kids, them kids changing, bro. You know changing their whole life, you know what I'm saying? Like but it, but it but it make you wanna but it, but it, listen but it make you wanna take your craft more serious because you like okay yeah I was doing it wrong but I'm really him. Word up, word up, hundred percent. I'm really I, him yeah. with this shit. Yeah. I wanna take this shit serious. I wanna knock on somebody's door. I wanna I wanna get one get one of these labels' attention because I really think, bro, like I said, you fade. Ali fast. You you really could do it. I believe that myself. You feel me? Word like. Up. I give you flowers. That's what this shit is about. You know what I'm saying? Because when I look at the city, bro, we a collective, we a whole. I don't like how how niggas be j- jumping all the artists or 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 or, or throwing shit at them when they on stage trying to rob them and shit like that. When they yeah. come out here, you feel me? Like, come on, because when Man, we get in the, say if somebody do get in the game, say if we do get in the game, now you gotta deal with all of that. Mm-hmm. Now you well, gotta get your circle good. right, nigga. Now you right. gotta, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, somebody, you know what I mean, God forbid, nigga, catch it. You know what I mean? Like all that shit gotta go down. But it'd be part of the game. Now they like, okay, nah. Now let's listen to him. I tried to tell y'all from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm part from part of the city that don't got nothing to do with none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real nigga from where I'm from, and boom, boom, boom. But you're going to have to, like I said, they aren't going to listen at first. Jim Jones and them, you know, they... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be yeah. like, yo, nah, man, fuck all that. We got to fight or do something first. Right, right, then right. Then you're going to have, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, at the end of the day, I, I don't like all of that. But at the end of the day, man, like, um, I celebrate what you got going on. The barber, barber's favorite barber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I Fair see enough. that shit, it's like it's like it was like a it was like too like a transition, or or, or an add on to entrepreneurial shit that you had already had going on. Because first That's of all, man, all your shit's on all streaming services. You already that nigga. Word you up. know what I'm saying? You, are, you already you, you making money off of music, and I think you and I think your views. I think you know what I'm saying your shit's just, you know what I'm saying your shit's decent. Your shit's just up there. So at the end of the day, like all that shit is the count of the money. You know what I'm saying? Like so, for, so ain't nobody can't say nothing. That's money here. So YouTube, boom, we got that shit monetized. We streaming, we got that shit, boom. boom. Now, boom. The barber shit locked down, and I sink the cuts. Where my mother? You got my you got my boy right, my baby, my baby, my baby Jerry. Where 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 Go down to Renaissance Cuts and get a barber, get a, and, and get your cut, man. I'll yes, buy yes, his body, yes, man. The <laughs> cut, man. Hit this man up for a cut, man. Right up, right up. But when was the who did you cut first and who did you fuck up? You must, you had to fuck up somebody <laughs> first. You, you, wanna know? Know? you wanna know? You wanna know? Yeah, yeah, yeah I wanna know. I wanna me. know. I started on myself. Word up. Oh, word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was in high school, you know what I'm saying? I used to have the ways and all that. My parents wasn't taking me to the shop as often as I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, ways right. like I was trying to get my joint cut every two weeks, right, you know what I'm saying? They right. was trying to take me like once every month, every month, you know what I'm saying? I was like, nah. Like, nah, yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna get some clippers to start, you know what I'm saying? Do like a one with the grain, you know what I'm saying? And I started doing that, and you know, um, you know, I definitely pushed my joint back mad times right, and all right, that right, when I was right. younger, you know what I mean? And you know, I just started. Um, you know what I mean? My man Sham over there, he used to let me practice on him. Oh, word. <laughs> word. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. This is early days. Yeah, this early, early days. Day. Yeah. This ain't before, Renaissance. Now, nah, where? Yeah, before I went to barber school Renaissance. and all that. Facts, okay, facts. okay. Facts. Before okay. I went to barber school and all that. And then, He's no, a good friend. Right. Yeah. He's a. Yeah, yeah, nah, we're up. He really fucked me up, bro. Nah. What happened after the cut? What happened after the cut? 
We don't fights happen after the nah, cut. Nah, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good friend. Yeah, yeah. Keep it in the round. Get a million, he got to be right you know there. What I'm saying? Um, you know, and you know, might have been a couple other niggas I messed up too. Okay. But you know, we ain't gonna okay. talk about that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but you know, uh, like I you said, like I tried, I tried, I tried community college for a couple, and it wasn't working. My mom kept putting in my head like. You should just go to barber school, da da da. I wasn't I wasn't listening to her for a minute, but okay. after a minute when I got sick of working these little jobs, job at the gas station and the little parking authority mm-hmm. job mm-hmm. and all that, and like I was like, no, I'm about to start going to barber school and for somebody that been dreaming. Or like you've been dreaming. Like a lot of people don't got a dream. Yeah. Let's let's just start there. Yeah. A lot of people don't have a dream. Word you up. already thought outside the box. So you thinking like, man, you at that job like man. Where the mother? Yo, <laughs> where the mother? That was me. Like I'm not trying to. I need to, to have a rave. I need yeah. to have a new Yeah. You know and I'm like, you know, I know I know being a barber was more of a path to being self made. You right. know what I'm saying? Like so you, you get, so you got into school. Yeah, where yeah. And you know, I got into school when I got done. Started working at a shop. I was over there for about four and a half years, and then I opened up my own spot this year. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. Okay, okay, that's great. Cause like I said, all right, wh- all right. Tell the people how. What did it take for you to do that? So how open much up my own shop. Yeah. So open up your own shop. For people, for people, niggas might think that <clears throat> this shit hard. Niggas at home, they lazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, thinking like, damn, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, nah, we're not, and that's a fact. That's a fact, and a lot of people don't take the proper steps that they don't realize. How easy, how easy Come on, it is. That's entrepreneurial easy. shit. Yes, you see done. niggas online, they say, they talk about their entrepreneur. You see when with the suit on, oh, this is entrepreneur right here, right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, what, so, so how, what did you, so how do you, take, tell them through the steps. Take them through the steps. All right, yeah. So, basically, um, like first, like I said, went to school, got my barber license. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Once you have a barber license, you technically can open a shop now, but you got to get the shop license as well. So, you got to get a barber shop license. Mm-hmm. And then you just got to get, there's certain things you need. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get a barber pole, you got to get a sign, you got to get a sink that runs hot and cold water and all that. Um, you got to get your business certificate from City Hall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Then you How much that cost? That was like 70 bucks, the business certificate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you go downtown. And, say, and that's like, first thing you do. You know what I'm saying? You just fill out a slip, put the name of your business on there, go get the business certificate from City Hall. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I had to do the, the barbershop license application. And, you know, I just had to get some paperwork for that. You know what I'm saying? I had to get, like, a notarized quarry form and mm-hmm. a little floor floor plan and, you know what I'm saying, a little picture of my son. You know what I'm saying? Just a little task. How that, much did all that cost? Um, I mean, that stuff was, I mean, it's probably a few dollars for the for taking the pictures, the little, the little passport pictures at Walgreens. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't much. Okay. And then I had to pay, I think it was $170 for the, for the license application mm-hmm. so I just had to pay the 170 to send in the application and then they send an inspector out to inspect the spot make sure I got all the requirements mm-hmm. and then once she passed me then I was I was able to open for business wow wow that's important right up yeah yeah that's your bullshit my brother I, I commend you on that shit my nigga right up because starting a journey and then Getting into it, yeah. it's a whole another wave, man. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, no, it definitely is. Yo. People stop what they're doing. <clears throat> As we been, we talk about the inconsistency in the city. We know what's going on, but for you to keep doing that shit, that's why I reached out, brother. Because like I said, man, and that's why I, I showed the love I did online. Because I'm like, bro, for for people to be in the city, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get behind the the, the, the dope shit, the good shit. Motherfuckers who really doing shit, trying to bring the camaraderie up, trying to bring the the, 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 the economy up in the city. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, the mother. somebody who you know, like, everybody know T. If you don't know T. Swan, stop playing around. We come look for you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know right. this man. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Because, like I said, you, 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 like, my cousins, they used to always tell me, like, yo, stop singing, stop repping your hood and your, and your music. Yeah. Because you only gonna get one side, you only gonna get one uh, crowd, you only get one, you know what I'm saying, you only get your audience, but you, everybody, right you up, know right what up. I'm saying, and I think that shit is dope, fucking, um, when you put your first album on, yeah. right, take me through that process, you going through your first album, right, and you thinking, okay, what were you thinking? Were you thinking? <laughs> were you thinking? Shit, I'm about to blow off this shit. <laughs> or are you thinking? Shit, I'm about to put this shit out, shit out as a statement. I'm about to let niggas know. You know what I'm saying? I could rap. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, what was what was your process? I was, um, you know, I was definitely hoping I would blow, but I was like, if I don't, mm -hmm. then if anything, it's definitely gonna be a statement and let niggas know. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, my first, my very first mixtape I put together was with Jordo mm -hmm. in high school, and I was like. 16 at the time, mm -hmm. and he produced a whole joint, and um, you I remember. Record, you've been recording yourself since then? Yeah, yeah, I was I was recording myself at my parents' crib, I had bought a little mic or whatever, and started kind of like learning how to mix the vocals and all that, um, and then, you know, I was rapping on Jordo Beats, and um, I remember I was selling CDs in school, <laughs> my very first mixtape, I was like 16, uh, selling CDs in school for like $2 a piece, I remember I came to school, Sold out, no cap. Like everybody was buying the CDs. What idea was that? That was your. <laughs> nah, idea. it was my idea to do the CDs. Yeah. To put your own CD together. Yeah, work. I got them. I had got them. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I wasn't that smart. When my first. Year, I, I got them printed with... up and all that, like with the little cover printed on the desk. Yes, and all sir. That. Yeah, I I found like a website to uh, you know, what I'm saying, to get it printed on and paid for it or whatever. And then, I like, had the guys yeah. I had around me to be. You know, what I'm saying I was blessed with the guys I had around me to put. You know, I used to get with shout out to Mag and Merch. I used to get with Merch. You know what I'm saying? The crime balls. I used to get with Merce and put, he used to show me how to structure it. Boom, you over here, you get your cover. You over here, you get your, you know what I'm saying? You see, yeah. you over here, you, you. I would have got you to download all my shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, put them in it. This is how you get your shit out. You want, so you this learn. was your own thinking. You like, fuck that. And it, it, what grade is this? Shit, I was, this is like 11th grade. 11th grade, yeah. you like, I'm about to come to school, all my friends, $2, are you doing the math, like, I could make how much? Yeah, 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 I think I had came to, I think I had came to school with, like, 25 CDs the first day, I'm like, you know what I'm saying, if I sell all these, I'll come on 50 bucks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I sold all them shit, so I was happy, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, All right, you in school, you selling the CDs, right? What's the feedback that you getting from school at 11th grade? Yeah, nah, everybody was telling me it was fire. And I think, I think people was just excited because, like, they didn't really know anybody else personally that was, like, actually taking the time to actually make music and record it and it actually sounded decent, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I think people thought it was dope, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's why people was, like, so quick to support. Honestly, I think around this time, the only other person I could mention, well, at least at my school, that was like doing it was probably fame and dope. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. Doe's another one too. I yeah, love, he was on it early. Doe was on it early. Doe, I can't forget about Doe's my guy. Yeah, he I, was on it early. Word. Yeah, man. Like, child, just like you know, child stars, man. You know what yeah, that's you know not it. Not Doe was one of the like probably, maybe maybe rapper, even the first producer, rapper like out here that I, and I remember being in middle school and Doe was putting out. Mixtapes and songs, and we in middle school, and this nigga putting out mixtapes, videos, and songs. You know what I mean? So yeah, shout out though. Yeah, he's one of the first, uh, first niggas I seen out here doing it. Where about this shit, right? This music shit, right? This camaraderie we got. You know what I'm saying? Man? All positive. You know what I'm saying? But what was like, like some of the negative feedback that you had got? That was like, you was like, what? Like, Man, listen, man, I'm not even, I don't even know why they even give me that type of energy like that, bro. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I don't even know what's on your, on your, on your chest, but yeah. you have to get it off over there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, no, nah, I've, I've, I've seen like a couple of dudes be like, oh, oh, this nigga boring or like, you know, I'm not into that type of rap. The, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, the people that, you know, dismiss mm -hmm. the whole lyrical rap and all that. So mm -hmm. I definitely ran into some of that back in the day where people would try to be like, oh, I don't even rap with that type of rap or oh, this nigga just sound like J. Cole or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, mm -hmm. I mean, so I've definitely the ran into that. The best fucking rapper in the world right now. <laughs> but like, yeah, like, it never bothered me because it's like, man, that's the rap I type, that's the type of rap I like to listen to, so, nah, you know what I mean? Nigga, that, I, I, that, that's the type of nigga you are. Word, word, word. You word. know what I'm saying? And no bullshit, bro, like, fire, my nigga. I don't give a fuck about yo. what none of them niggas is talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah word, I, never, up, I, I don't never, think I right, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, my nigga. Like this shit, like if we had like a Justice League, bro, <laughs> like you be one of them niggas, bro. They can't, bro. They just can't rap better than you, bro. I, I, we can name niggas. We not gonna do that. We gonna keep <laughs> shit positive. But I, 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 I do that, and I take the full responsibility, bro. <laughs> niggas can't fuck with you, bro. Word, bro. You know I appreciate saying? you, man. You know what I mean, nigga. And that's why I wanted you to come down here, bro. You know what I mean, and do this shit with me. 
And I just wanted to pick your brain, bro. You know what I'm saying? To see what was going on, see what you thought, see what you, how your childhood was, how you growing, who, how you got your love for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because the way you rap, how you rap, is not normal. You know what I'm saying, niggas? Like, it ain't nothing to just throw away, nigga, or just to be like, okay, yeah, that's my man, yeah, he rap. Like, nah, nigga. When my nigga get in the booth, nigga, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Right like, up, boy, man. get in the, so, like, so, like, all right, so, like I said, with a, with a machine, like, if you was OVO, or if you was, you know what I'm saying, Dreamville, or if you was in any one of these, like, you would excel. You know what I'm saying? If you was TDE, like, that's what I'm writing, like, you want me, like, one of them niggas from TDE. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you was one, I'm dead serious, like, you would excel because you could really rap, like, who, who could deny, like, a nigga, like, well, nah, he's corny. Like, what, like, you know what I'm saying? Corny, nigga, what? Because he ain't talking about what you, go listen to Shiesty, you wanna listen to what, what <laughs> Go listen to Shiesty, yeah. you wanna listen to Shiesty, you feel me? But when you wanna listen to a nigga really rapping, nigga, you feel me? And really putting substance down, is that that crowd right there, and that, that genre, that's a whole genre. Yeah, 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 I feel, feel like, and, you know, that's the type of, um, That's a whole genre. Yeah, and when you make that, I feel like when you make that type of music, like, you gonna have the type of fans that's gonna stick with you. For their whole life, you know what I'm saying? No bullshit. You know, the and it, followers. Yeah. yeah. You, go, you, know you, mean? you make fucking fifty thousand a month for them. Yeah. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, there be niggas that's just, you know, seasonally hot. And then like, you know, don't get me wrong. Like some of this shit be like, yeah, it's, it's dope. But like, I already know that like, like y'all not gonna care about this nigga mm -hmm. <laughs> five years from now. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know. So I definitely think there's like a certain once you you make a certain connection. With the listeners, you know what I'm saying? That's how you build that type of fan base that's gonna stick stick with you and watch you grow. Or nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a lesson. <clears throat> that's a lesson learned. Niggas gotta learn how to control their fan base or, or, or like grow their fan base. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people doing music. I see niggas be doing music and they be wanting people to shout them out and this and this and that. Nobody gonna shout you out. You're not really doing it right. The way not work. You know what I'm saying? You got people that have been doing it for a long time, such as yourself and others. You know what I'm saying? That y'all got y'all following. Y'all got y'all co-following. Y'all got people that I be seeing your views. You should still be spiked up. Instagrams, all that shit. I just seen you. I was on your baby. You know what I'm saying? So this is like, like, I already know, like, you do this shit when you want to do this shit. Imagine when a nigga really, nigga, put extreme... Catastrophic focus, no, you know what I'm saying? Money. Into this shit, nigga. You feel me? You going, you going, you going, you going, you going. Really, people gonna really be zoned in and tapped in, nigga. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, you could show motherfuckers how to really do this shit. Niggas don't need to be, don't need to be envy, spiteful, jealous, or whatever the case may be. Look at this man and see what he's doing and learn from the consistency. Throw your shit out there, motherfuckers. That got music they ain't even put out there. That's you know what I'm saying? They let their homeboys hear this shit. A couple females that heard it. You know what I'm saying? They put your shit out. Put your shit out. On it, never drop it. Because <laughs> Springfield needs. We need to get the fuck on the map. Y'all waste the studio of, time. No, no <laughs> bullshit. And that shit. The probably shit probably trash anyway. <laughs> you gotta understand, like it, 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 no bullshit. It's like, <laughs> and like a lot of niggas is trash, man. You know what I'm right. saying? But at the same time, you, you got to get them dumb, 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 dumb ones to corroborate. The people who can come up here, let's talk about it podcast. You one of them ones. You feel me? Right. Uh, I'm not having nobody. And you an entrepreneur at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you somebody I respect through the music shit, and, and you an entrepreneur. I'm not about to have nobody else up here fooling around, no play play, no none of that other shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just wrap circles around me. <laughs> Word up, bro. But, so speaking of these dudes, right? Four and three artists, top five. Four and three artists, top five. Top five, top five, all time, all time. It, it only had yeah. to be current. It could be like all time. You could name whoever. Damn. All right. Um. <clears throat> I can't include myself, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell I yeah. mean, if we can include myself, then I throw yeah. myself in there. I ain't gonna hold you. Like I feel like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I feel like I feel like I got a good body of work. You know I ain't mean? on that. I, 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 <laughs> a lot of people would be like, "No, you can't put yourself in." I ain't gonna yeah. like, Nah, we can put yourself in because what you bring to the table is 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 a lot. You feel me? So that's one. You won. Word up. Uh, all right, yeah. So I mean, I got I got to throw my man Fabe in there. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, Shout out to Fabe. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, Faye be watching this. Yeah, you yeah, need to go watch this. I want to have you on here, brother. I mean, I know, I know niggas love. probably knew that was coming anyway, but like, yeah, like, like I said, I know Fabe since high school, and so he done, he done been consistent and stuck with it since I known him, and I haven't, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's, there's barely anybody out here that I that I've seen that been like, you know what I'm saying, that consistent with, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Nah, he can rap. With, you know what I'm saying? Doing it for he sure. Can rap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's a Spanish nigga that can rap there for nah, That's a fact. That's yeah, a fact. Fuck around, nigga. You know that's saying? a fact. Nah, Fave. So, Fave. so okay. You, Fave. Me, Fave. That's honor. That's this. This is already <clears throat> starting. This is already. This is crazy. Nah, where, where, where? Because, um, because, because, like I said, them, y'all two already alone. Rap circles. Yo, honestly, I'm gonna have to show some love to my man Doran Pierre. I don't know if you ever heard of him, but from the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doran, Pierre, Pierre, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Doran, Doran's fire, bro. That nigga got Doran it, man. Pierre, like, shout out to Doran Pierre. Yeah, yeah. Doran, Doran been reach out to me, Doran bro. Doran been doing it for a long time we too. We do an interview, man. Where? Nah, Doran yeah. been doing it for a long time too, and um, you know what I'm saying. I met him way back in the day. And, fire. You know what I'm saying? He mad versatile. He can he can give you the raps. He can give you the joints for the ladies. He can give you some reggae joints. You know what I'm saying, like. Doran's him, no cat. Like I, I rock with Doran, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying he been dropping some fire lately. He he mad consistent too. That's what's up. You know what I mean, so I got I show some love to my man, it's Doran. Damn. Okay, okay. okay. Um, That's all. I, just, I respect it. Damn. So me, Fave, Doran. <laughs> um. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want people to feel salty if I don't mention them, but you know, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just personally going off people that like, you know, I know that I. Yeah, yeah, I pay attention to okay, okay. the most of people that I feel like have really been doing it like for a long time. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, damn, damn, two left, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who, 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 who we gonna get that last two to? <laughs> damn. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want to do, you know we got I mean I buy it now, you know. Whatever you want to do, that's what you want to do. Because, you know, I don't want nobody to take this offensive, but, like, mm-hmm. there's been, like, a lot, of, there's been a lot of dudes who, like, you know, they came and had their moments and killed it mm-hmm. while they had their little moments. But, yep, like, yep, yep, yep. you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think of dudes that really been Nah, your opinion is doing your opinion. It. Yeah, nah, where, 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 where? First of all, any, any grown man watching this, if you mad at somebody's opinion, this is a man. You're a man. You're not, like, man up. Grow up, bro. Fact. Grow up, bro. You know what I'm saying? This man got an opinion on what you got going on. You got your opinion. We respect your opinion, too. That's a fact. So, shit. That's a fact. Um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean I'll, I'll throw this in there, and I obviously it's going to sound like a real mm-hmm. biased answer or whatever, but, like, just because I've, I've heard more of what she could do, and, like, even though she may not have released it to the world yet, I've heard mm-hmm. a lot of it, but, like, my sister's fire, bro. My mm. sister talent. Mm. She's nice, bro. Okay, okay. We gotta look out. We you know gotta look out. Say, Once say, again, this is my personal list. So niggas can yep, get mad yep, if they yep. want. Nah, for but, sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, her name, her name is ta- well, her her rap name is Talent, but her real name is Talent. Okay, you know okay, okay. Now let's but go. like, yeah, she she's fine. Look I'm not out even, for her. I'm not even gonna say like, oh, she the best female spitter I know because she can out rap a lot of niggas. Nah, like, come period. On, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shit back. You know what I mean? One of the leaders, bro. You bringing this shit back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Um, shoot, man. I mean, and this this is gonna sound like a cheat answer, but I guess I'm gonna just get a number one spot to to the Renaissance as a whole. That's my that's my crew. You know what I'm saying? That's that's me, my boy, my boy. Yes. Me, my boy Shamrock. Yes. Three LC. Three LC. Okay. 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 Three LC okay. over here. Okay. My boy, my boy, quality. Um, my boy Chani, um, yeah. my boy Jordo in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Shan's and you brother more Mark. Welcome, you get on a promo, run, like, bro. And we, and, come, you can come and through. And the reason, the same shit for you. You want a promo? Chilling, man. I'm only here and for the, him, man. The reason why I say, the reason why I, I, I'll throw welcome. us, I'll throw us all under one collective is because when I feel like when we all get together, yeah, that's dope. And because we got songs where like we all got together and collab nah. or whatever, and I feel like when Fuck we all get together, up. like we just we just, fly, we just we just fire as a group. And plus, I can't leave my dogs out the conversation, so nah, for you know real. Fuck this bitch, up, bro, because at the end of the day, we need that. 
We dead, man. Let's be honest, man. Word up. Word up. The city dead, bro. Like, like, what's going on? Like, niggas just quit and gave it up, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just throw some music out here and there, boom, including myself. Word throw some mother. shit out here, boom, boom, here, and that's it. Oh, that's it. No, nigga. Fuck all that, bro. Like, no, that's nigga. Bad. What are you going to do, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Everybody growing up, but still, nigga, like, come on, my nigga. Like, you still got these young niggas, and they willing to rap to them. Niggas going to put their money behind them or get the shit you got going on. Niggas got their crew. Let's do something. Make something happen, nigga. For me, that's all around. Like I said, and let's talk my podcast. This shit is about entrepreneurship. I'm gonna fuck what you doing. Let's make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? For the city. You own a restaurant or a clothing store or a fucking a hair salon or you do shit for the kids. Let's go, nigga, because you know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit that's gonna bring this city notoriety. That's how to bring this shit big. It's gonna mean people out here, businesses to shake hands. The more connections everybody got, the more connections we got. People gonna be in the city, we can shake hands, we can show up. We can show out. That's a fact. That's a fact, bro. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, all right. Top five rap, period. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not, not just, just not even the city and in, in the rap game. My top my top five. I want to know. I want to know just because, you know, we, like I said, we all from the East Coast. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, it's the Chicago shit. It's, it's, it's the Detroit shit got going on. Everybody yeah. want to be from rural. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we from I'm from Madison, from Massachusetts. Nah, where the mother? Where the mother? All right, so my top five rappers. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm gonna start off and say I think Hov is the goat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Jay Z's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like, in my opinion, bro, like he has the best rap catalog. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not arguing about it with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And like niggas to say, oh Drake, but don't get me don't get me wrong. Like Drake has a Great catalog, but I said rap catalog. A lot of Drake shit is not rap. You know what I'm saying? So if we talk about a pure like rap catalog on songs where niggas is rapping, like I don't know who got a better catalog than Jay Z. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, Hov. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Hov. You know what I mean? I'ma throw I'ma throw Esco in there. You know what I'm saying? I gotta throw Esco in there. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely one of my Gotta throw Esco. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely one of my biggest influences, you know what I mean? Like, Esco, for real. Shout out to I used to listen, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, Nas is that guy. And I feel like if you a rapper, like, if you a rapper, rapper, like, you gotta fuck with Nas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, so I gotta throw Esco in there. Um, I gotta throw my man Kendrick in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. Kendrick's my guy, bro. Like, Kendrick is probably my favorite artist, like, overall artist, I would say. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. Outside of rap, just artists, like, cause mm-hmm. he takes it there with his artistry, bro. Like, nah, Kendrick, no bullshit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, shit. yeah. Kendrick takes it there with his artistry. He's serious about that shit. Word, 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 word. So yeah, Kendrick. Um, I'm saying, God throw Cole in there. You know what I'm saying, mm. Cole's my guy. Mm. And, you know what I'm saying, definitely one of my biggest influences. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's heavy. Them yeah. niggas full heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's heavy right there, right? Now I'm trying to what think. They like, bring to the game. Damn, it's number crazy. five, number five. Um. Number five, I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna have to go with uh, early Kanye. <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna say, yeah. I'm gonna Facts. say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Ooh. I'm gonna say Kanye West and not not Ye, cause them them is two different people. <laughs> Ye is on. Ye is a whole new different nigga. But but nah, Kanye man. West, you know what I'm saying? College nah, dropout, dope. late registration, graduation, Facts. like. Facts. Real nigga I mean, shit. Stop playing. Word right up. Right niggas can say whatever they want to say, nigga. Niggas, right up. niggas might have put Jada in there or whatever, nigga. But yeah, nigga, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was when Ye had something to prove. Niggas yeah, said I can't rap. Yeah, nah, yeah, niggas said I can't bro. rap. Yeah, it was him. And then, like, he, he was definitely, like, a big influence on me as far as, like, even wanting to make songs on, like, soulful beats and okay. all of that. Like, he okay. he's definitely... He's definitely a big fan of Florida. Nah, there it go, there it go. Word up. So, who's your favorite rapper? My favorite, like, overall rapper? Mm-hmm. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably say, I'll probably say Jay-Z. Ho. Yeah, I'll probably say Ho. Ho. What makes Ho your favorite rapper? Ho, man, like, I just feel like he's so dope, because, like, I just feel like he's a mad smooth, like, mm-hmm. with, with how he be rapping. Like in the way, like he sets his bars up, like it'd be mad smooth. Like he'd be like, mm-hmm. yeah, I just realized this thing mm-hmm. said that. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like yeah, for that and like yeah, his his wordplay is just mad smooth. Um, you know what I mean? And I I know that some people like 
I feel like the people that don't like him probably don't like him because they don't like how he sound. They feel like he sound lazy or whatever. But to me, I feel like that's what makes him dope. It's because like I feel like, bro, he's really chilling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But he's saying he's really talking his shit. Like he's really mm-hmm. saying, you know what I'm saying? Like and he's without really still bar- he's barring y'all up without like barring y'all up too much. Makes you know what I'm saying? Easy. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I'll be yeah, like it sounds it sounds like effortless, but it's like he really just said some fire Crazy. shit. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> So that's why I hope it's my guy, bro. Like <laughs> for real. All right, so what you got coming? What's, what, do you want to get an address out to, to the Renaissance? What's going on? Where, where, yeah, Renaissance Cuts. We located at 143 Main Street, downtown Springfield. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's a Come check that building out, period. It's a lot of uh, small businesses in that building. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black-owned businesses, too, at that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just drive by that building, don't even know like what's going on in there. But it's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, a lot of small businesses in there. Mm-hmm. Hair salons in there. You know what I'm saying? They got black dojo in there like you know what i'm saying like oh, yeah i swear to god bro yeah mad stuff in there you know what i'm saying karate shots yeah now nah, where the mother the, yeah the dojo is on the same floor i'm on where the mother right down the hall <laughs> yeah so you know what i'm saying we up in there in that building 143 main street the monkey wrench building on mm-hmm. the second floor you know what i'm saying cuts is amazing it appreciate it kids it females you want your eyebrows done whatever yes, come through that's a fact you feel me niggas come on ladies y'all want your side nigga nice and sharp <laughs> Bring that nigga through, That's you feel me? That's like, come on, we not playing around. Everybody welcome, arms wide open, man. That's come down at 143 Main Street? Yes, sir, 143 Main Street. Let's go, Street. man. Yes, Call sir. that man and get with him. Yes, sir. What's going on with the music? What you got coming on? The Renaissance hey, cool. man. What's going on? Hey, man, honestly, I've been thinking about dropping a little deluxe version of the tape I just dropped or something, but, you know, I got some music in the tuck. Um, you know what I'm saying? I got some collabs with the homies I'm hoping to drop soon. And like I said, I'm trying to keep... Pushing more content for some of the stuff I got out that niggas might have slept on. So, right, right, you know what right, I mean? So, that's right. that's definitely what I'm going to be doing in the upcoming. Nah, push that channel. Time. Push that channel. Push that channel. Get that fucking monetization. Right and start up. making that money you deserve, bro. Right up. You know what I mean? Nigga? Because you got the cool following. And when you on the road, they paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people in the city can do that. You know what I'm saying? No motherfuckers be on the road, man. Get 100 views on everything, man. Keep moving. No, nah, word, you know word, 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 word. Like, like you, you, you get on the road, they like, hold, hold, hold on. You know nah, what I'm back, back, back. So at the end of the day, bro, keep nah, man, what you doing. Attention, bro. I respect you, man. You know what I'm saying? You always welcome. You come back anytime you got something going on. You working on something. Anybody from your, your crew, your label, y'all want, you know what I mean? Promote, y'all on a promotion run. Y'all want to come through do an interview. Y'all can come back anytime. Arms wide open, bro. I respect you. And that's what this shit is about. Let's talk Appreciate about it. Appreciate it, bro. Yep, let's go. Yes, sir.